I'm doing, guys, is just warming it up, warming this hash up a little bit in my hands, in my glove. I'm gonna uh, stick it in a cold press here in a second and just flatten it out and start to get a brick together, figure out what size micron. I want this to be a, to fit in one of my bags and then I want, you know, I want it to be about a quarter inch thick. Let's start to uh, press it into a square shape. If you just work with it a little bit up front so you get the proper uh, surface area measurement um, and sizing for your bag and whatnot, it really will turn out great for you. This is looking like a full seven gram. Size of that. It's a stretch for it, but. Yeah, I think it's a little much for a seven gram bag. I think I'm pushing it. All right, so I'm moving up to a 14 gram bag just so I have enough room. I'm gonna use two of those. 38 and a half grams or so. Okay, so basically we're just getting it nice and square. Um, we're gonna wrap it in a 25 micron screen and then slip it inside of two 37 micron bags. We'll fill them up nice and full um, right to the end. So a six inch square, 25 micron screen. What we'll do is we'll just place it right in the center. And then once I have it in the, all the folds are to the upside here. Um, once I have it in a uh, uh, 37 micron, I slip it into another one. And this will hold the surface area shape true for you. And then I'll fold it over like that. And that'll give, give us our, uh, our actual surface area size and uh, measure it here. Um, but it uh, looks like it's three inches. Three by three, let's call it. So then all you have to do is come over here to the uh, next measure IQ and you wanna set the surface area size. That's the size that I measured with the ruler. So that's three inches by three inches, which is quite big, but that's gonna set nine square inch and that's gonna set our actual surface area size um, to set the basis of all of our pressure. And then from that point, all you have to do is go over to the ramp mode screen and um, we're gonna go ahead and hit, there's just a setting up top that says hash. We're gonna go ahead and hit hash and um, then we're gonna start it over here at uh, 145 to 175. Start pressure at 100, end pressure at 450. Um, we're gonna leave all that the same. And then basically uh, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna slide this little guy right between here. And guys, let me show you too. We wanna to make sure that all your folds are up. That'll get, you'll get more yields out that, more of a yield out that way. So all my excess folds, I tried to fold one way. Um, and that's what you wanna also watch out for. And then once you do that, you just hit start, proceed. The machine will come up and it'll start to put pressure on the actual product. And basically what happens is the, the machine's gonna ramp up to 100 material PSI. Um, once it does, which it just did, uh, the timer will start clicking down.
So basically, after the timer runs out, the machine will just slightly lower the plates. It's good to bring it all over to a collection plate here. And we'll pull the plant material screen out. Get any off the edges here on that. That's uh, again, that's uh, where the hash was in. Uh, it's two 14, uh, 37 micron, 14 gram, 37 micron bags um, and a 25 micron six inch uh, square sheet. Um, there's the rosin and we'll go ahead and collect that up. Start with the thinner stuff here. <laughs> you can see how nice this material really is. It's beautiful rosin. Man, look at it. So guys, um, we started out with 38 and a half grams, is that right? 38.6 grams That's right, of yeah. hash, bubble hash, mm -hmm. um, from our boy John and uh, his money bag. Uh, we end up with 30 point something. Right, yeah, right around. Right around a little over 30 grams yeah, of uh, beautiful rosin out of that hash refined, full melt, um, solventless rosin. Now we're gonna peel off um, eight grams of the 30 or so, uh, make a nice little brick so we can uh, let it butter up. Uh, that means let, it, let the uh, uh, terps evaporate out leave it out in the open air and um, then tomorrow we're going to isolate it turn it into a solventless isolate um, and uh, show the grower what he can make out of that uh, that portion of the product as well and guys thanks for watching like subscribe remember tell a friend um, check out nuxmasher.com always new things but if you want to stick around and watch me uh, uh, brick this up for isolate stick around i'm going to go ahead and do that now about eight grams or so So what we got to do is we got to turn this into a surface area size so we can isolate it in the Nug Smasher IQ. We do that in the ramp mode. So we just kind of make it a little square, a little rectangle first. Stick it between a piece of parchment paper here and then we'll stick it in a cold press just to start to get that caddy shape. And you want to isolate about an eighth inch thick, not a quarter like we did hash. And then we're going to make it square. Okay, that is ready to isolate. What do you think, Bill?